Well, Pat, it's been a couple of difficult years, really, probably best forgotten about as far as tourism is concerned. But at least the recovery does seem to be underway, even if it is a little bit more modest. Do you feel it's a little slower to recover in the West than in Dublin? Well, I think it has been. Uh, we've come, as you said, Damon, from a very tough two years. And I think uh, the, the East has done a little better in that space than the yeah. West. Um, in the region this year, we've had a very strong rebound, which is about ten yeah, percent. Uh, that might be reflected up along the west as well. Sure. Um, but it is coming off um, a kind of a slow, a low base. And, and is that from all been, markets, or are there some markets? I think doing particularly it's other? been uh, very strong in the US and Europe, but a little bit slower in the Great Britain market, yeah. which would obviously we'd like to try and change because that's been a strong traditional market for the the, the Shannon region, particularly sure. around the west generally. Sure. Um, but we've also had you know I suppose tough times trying to get, adjust to open skies here as well. So yeah. that becomes. Um, um, brings its own problems as well. Yeah, of course it didn't deliver the sort of results we thought for the West, but then a lot of things happened in the marketplace as well. Recession came in, so it was clear, unclear how to how to measure its impact. Yeah, ultimately. I think yeah. so. And it was a yeah. perfect storm of things, really. So we we just uh, we just had to kind of uh, get, get up and deal with them. But the, the region is resilient, and the yeah. trade are resilient, and we, um, yeah. we just have to okay. put better partnership yeah. process in place to make that happen. And how about the product in the West? Do you feel it's still fresh and vibrant and still appealing to the markets we're now trying to grow? Yeah, I think so. And I think more than ever, it's 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 maybe appealing because it's the fault is back and, and we're better than, than to enjoy than the west of Ireland. The products have always kept pace with that. Uh, and they have reinvented themselves. We have a yeah. good history here, in particular the region, yeah. um, of reinventing the product and, and uh, yeah. innovating around the products sure. and markets. Yeah. Um, and that has kept us uh, yeah. very fresh, I think. So, yeah. And I think uh, our colleagues in the, the, the other areas of the West have, have done similar. So sure. it, it does mm. present a good picture of Ireland yeah. and a good product profile. The Shannon region, and uh, in particular Shannon development, have been great product innovators, uh, such world-famous innovations as Bunratty Banquets at their time, Loch Gur, Craig and Owen, Bunratty Folk Park. Is there much happening on the product development area these days? Yeah, uh, there is. It's a very strong pipeline and we've been very fortunate. We've been able to get some funding available for some key projects, both mm. uh, expansions of old and, and new products. Uh, yeah. For example, we've just announced in conjunction with Fall Child and uh, a 5.7 million redevelopment of King John's Castle, which will completely reinterpret sure. not alone the castle, but will also lead to a secondary project in Nicholas Street yeah. in Limerick. Yeah. Uh, we've invested in um, obviously the Ballyhora Mountain Bike Park and we've been developing a lot of sports outdoor activity and more family friendly products in addition to keep supporting uh, the yeah. redevelopment of established products so yeah. that blend of investing in and throughout the region has, has benefited greatly and we'd hopefully stand to that in terrific. the next couple of years Terrific so, so what are the opportunities that you see for the next 5 to 10 years are you confident that we can uh, get back to the days of heady growth once more? I think I think so, yeah. I think yeah. Uh, having weathered the storm uh, as best we can, um, and I think uh, that the future is looking better than it was a couple of years ago. Right. Uh, I think uh, our products are holding up. I think we see a lot of opportunity in the, uh, I think the, the sport area, I think in the outdoor activity area, mm -hmm. and indeed in the family friendly propositions, right. uh, and a lot more that would kind of may reposition maybe an indoor outdoor mix. Yeah. Uh, we have to bring that to bear. Uh, for example, Limerick, uh, the capital of the region is the city European City Sport this year. Sure. Uh, we've had great success with uh, sport and business tourism, yeah. um, and we're looking forward to kind of uh, new developments in that area. That's, That's where the future is going to be. I think. Yeah. And and finally, what about the marketing of the West? Everybody has their own idea about how it should be done. But what's your own feeling? Is it is it adequate, or are there changes we of direction we may need there? Yeah, I, I think we started kind of well, and we've had good partnership on the West. It's a great iconic brand. I think it's it's how we all try to market internationally, uh, yeah. and indeed, I think it's well understood domestically. Um, I think it needs to kind of look at the seasonality of the product. I mean, we, we don't yeah. have as strong a seasonal offer as, as in the East, I think. Yeah. I think we need to look at that. Sure. I think we had, a, we had a great start in terms of um, pioneering the super regions and western yeah. regions as part of that um, yeah. in addressing open skies. Sure. I think we need to continue with that. I think the open okay. skies is still working its way through the system. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it really needs a big um, partnership push yeah. uh, at a national level to make that, uh, to, to address it. Yeah. But I think if we can do that, um, make that happen and along with uh, dealing with seasonality yeah. uh, th they are the key things that we need to address in the marketing going forward OK, well thank you for talking there's some challenges there for sure but equally opportunities so and we can look forward to the future with uh, some hope and confidence Absolutely, looking forward to it Thank you Pat